Hello, my name is Matt Hester, and today we're going to take a look at another free Microsoft Solution Accelerator, the System Center Configuration Manager 2007 dashboard. In this screencast, we're going to take a look at the installation of the dashboard. Now, before we actually talk about some of the requirements on how to install the dashboard, why would you want to install this? Well, if you're using Configuration Manager 2007 today, you've already seen the value of how this fantastic tool can help make sure your systems are up to date, your applications are being deployed properly, uh, properly, your operating systems are being deployed, everything's working inside your environment. But how easy is it sometimes to get insight into where the status is of this information? How, how successful have you been with deployment? Where can you see this information in the reports and configuration manager? Sometimes it's not always the easiest to get an all up picture and that's where the dashboard comes in to give you a great idea of what's happening in your environment. And not only it's going to show you things like your application operating system deployments, who's been deployed, who's, uh, what, uh, what's the percentage of what's going on inside an organization. It's also going to show you security updates, what's there, what you can actually use, uh, what systems you need to patch and configure. You can also take a look at the health status of your computers. And at the end of the day, this dashboard is going to really help you see quickly where is the IT compliance with key regulations, either for your business or regulatory uh, inside your organization and really at the end of the day that's the great thing that configuration manager can provide for you the dashboard gives you some great insight into how to actually use this tool now to install the dashboard after you've downloaded it from the TechNet download center um, you will need the operating system basically whatever runs on configuration manager 2007 as well as you need to make sure that that's 2007 R2 or Service Pack 2 or later. You need Windows SharePoint Services 3.0 Service Pack 2 or Microsoft Office SharePoint Server 2007 Service Pack 2. You also need SQL Server 2008, you need the .NET Framework 3.5 and you can use the dashboard in either IE7 or IE8. So with that, let's go ahead and take a look at how to actually install the dashboard. Now let's take a look at how to actually install the dashboard. After you've downloaded the dashboard, you will have two files, uh, either an x86 for 32-bit systems or a 64-bit system file. And then it's a simply a matter of going through the actual installation, which is fairly straightforward. So let's go ahead and install the dashboard today. So I'm going to go ahead and double click on my shortcut for the dashboard and run the install. I'm going to accept the licensing agreement for the dashboard and then I'm going to give it some basic information about my identity, where my SQL Server database is located for the Configuration Manager database itself, uh, what the name of that database is and so on um, for it. So let me go ahead and fill in some information here. Administrator and my password. Uh, my Configuration Manager database server is SOCOM Server and my uh, database is sccm dash. I then will also have to give it some information about my actual uh, SharePoint services that I currently have on the server as well. So I'm going to go ahead and give it my uh, administrator information here, uh, my email address, and then my, data, my uh, SharePoint services server name is also on the same server that I have currently for the demo. Um, and the database is the same I have here. Now I'm going to copy this address. This is the default address you'll have for your dashboard after you install it. I'm going to copy that because I am going to bring up the dashboard after we're done to make sure that everything did install properly. So I'm going to go ahead and click on next and it's going to start chugging through the install. Now this will take just a second uh, or two to install. Um, you can see that it's going to be configuring the SQL Server. It's also going to be copying over the template files here in a second. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pause the recording during this actual install. As you can see, the installation has completed successfully. It's always a good sign. I'm going to go ahead and click on Finish. And then I'm going to bring up my browser. Now that you've seen how to actually install the dashboard, you can see that it was a fairly straightforward process. So what I've brought up here on my screen after I've installed the dashboard is actually an example of what a dashboard can look like running off of one of our main servers up at corporate. Um, you can see that I have that same URL, 12345, for the port number. And then you can see I have a lot of information displayed here. 
in my next screencast, I'm going to show you how to actually use and leverage the filters that are on these pages. But as you can see, the dashboard provides a wealth of information, very easy to read, tied directly back into the System Center Configuration Manager database. Once again, thank you for watching this screencast and have a great day.